Good evening. So, uh, my name is Doug. Nice to meet you. I'd like to introduce you to my friend Eric here. Hi, guys. Oh, you know him? <laughs> These are all friends of yours? <laughs> I didn't get that kind of a No. Thanks, babe. There's, there's my one. There's my one. My wife's over there. So we're going to play some guitar for you tonight, if that's okay. Yeah. I'm glad everybody got their food now. So we're just going to wait for you to finish. <laughs> and uh, that gives me time to talk about life. 
I know nothing about life. That's what I, I thought I, talking I, about it would help. I play guitar. That's what I do. That's pretty much it. That's all I know. But Edie wanted us to talk about our guitars, which we can do later. We'll do that later. Okay, we'll do that later. We're just going to play a song. We're going to play a song. We're going to start with some uh, Paco de Lucia. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Well, that was fun to start the night off with. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. I hear somebody in the audience speaking uh, French. Um. <laughs> yeah. Something. Uh, it was funny when we uh, just got together to figure out what we were going to do here tonight. We uh, started talking about songs we wanted to play. And, and uh, how many albums have you put out? Personally? Yeah. Just three. Three? Yeah. Yeah, I've done about, yeah, you got three albums out. I got like six. Um, and uh, we're like, w what about this song by this other person? What about this other song by this other person? We're doing a bunch of cover tunes tonight, so. <laughs> we have all this music, and yeah. we're not playing any of it. Oh, <laughs> I guess we never noticed. <laughs> That's all right. You just realized that, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> Oops. So That's our next show. We're going to do a, uh, a Grover Washington tune right now.
just the two of us. Nobody else is invited. <laughs> We're very insular up here. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's great. Ooh. I hit this guitar so hard, I knock it out of tune. We've got, we're going from the two of us to the one of us. The one of us. Well, this is where I say goodbye. It's <laughs> been nice. Um, but sometimes things are better said alone. He'll be back. Don't worry. Speaking of uh, those original albums and stuff that we got, we do have, uh, we both have those things, those little silver coaster things that we put drinks on nowadays uh, available that do contain music that you can get. And uh, this is a song off one of those of mine. For the life of me, I can't remember which one, but it's on one of them. It's called Amabella.
Thank you so much. Okay, we're in the rock and roll tuning now. Much like anybody who's uh, gotten into this kind of guitar playing, I know Eric's the same way. We, we just want to be rock stars at heart. Um, so then I'm going to do a song that um, I contend to be one of the greatest rock and roll songs ever written. Thank you so much. I'm going to get Eric to come back out and do a couple of tunes now. Am I 
interrupting? <laughs> My turn already? Your turn already. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Toll. How's everybody doing so far? Yeah. Yeah. Is this kind of what you're expecting, or is it like, uh, Floating jazz. <laughs> That's it on the outside. Jazz. Jazz. I'm sorry, I'm not playing jazz. Um, but I hope to jazz you up. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I practiced that for weeks. <laughs> so nervous. Uh, that's great. Huh? Tune it or die. Tune it or die. That's right. That's right. Ah, life is good. Life is good. You know, years ago I was hired by Adidas to compose a classical flamenco song. I guess word had gotten out that I was this classical flamenco guitar player. And this director said, hey, we need a classical flamenco song because we're going to be doing a, a spot. We're going to be doing a commercial with Spanish golfer Sergio Garcia. Yeah, that was my reaction, too. Uh, I said, great. That's awesome. So I quickly Googled him. And yeah, that's great. So I asked the, the director, I said, so when you say a classical flamenco song, do you mean like you know, a song that's a, a blend of two different genres? Or do you mean like a traditional flamenco song? And he said, yeah. <laughs> and I said, just to clarify, when you say classical flamenco, do you mean that you want to put two genres together and blend them together, making a completely new style? Or are you talking about something from the deep, dark um, uh, caves of Spain? And he said, yeah. So I wrote him a classical flamenco song, whatever that is. Thank you. 
Thank you. What was that French word? Olé? Yeah, okay. Andale. Si, pues. Claro. I hit it so hard it knocks it out of tune. Is that a good thing? That, that, that's why I've got all these lovely marks. I bought this guitar used, but it was in mint condition. Now it's in condition. <laughs> it's a Gibson Chet Atkins. So it's a weird guitar because it's fully classical in terms of its design, but it's completely electric. So if I unplug, I don't get any sound. And it's sort of a love-hate relationship because I like the sound, but it's always giving me problems, like <laughs> knocking out a tune, or the wiring is a awry. Anyways, that's my guitar. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving on. I was hired by this cafe to perform for three hours with me and my buddy Miles. Now, I was really excited about this gig because Miles was one of these kind of weird percussionist surfer types, and he had gone to India to study with the gurus, and he was this very disciplined percussionist and yet a very disciplined surfer. <laughs> Anyways, I was really excited about the gig. Only problem is, is that between Miles and I, <laughs> we only actually knew 20 minutes of repertoire. So we got to the gig, and we played our set three times. <laughs> and we still had two hours to go. <laughs> and everybody's, you know, sitting around, waiting for the next tune. Oh, these guys are good. What are they going to do next? And he's looking at me like, what are we going to do? And I'm looking at him like, <laughs> I thought you knew. <laughs> and then it dawned on me, you know, cafe. <laughs> That's my world. So I said, follow me. like yours with cream and sugar? Do you like yours with cream and sugar? Do you like yours with cream and sugar? Do you like yours with cream and sugar? Cause I could be, I could be your cream and sugar. As I could be, oh, I could be the sweetness in your <laughs> Do you like yours with cream and sugar? 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 As I could be, I could be your cream and sugar. As I could be. Could be the sweetness in your life. Cause I could be, I could be your cream. I could be, oh, I could be the sweetness in your life. Cause I could be, I could be your cream and sugar. Cause I could be, oh, I could be the sweetness in your the sweetness and your life The sweetness and your
Doug Toll, come on down. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's very repetitive, I know. And I wanted to come up with a second verse, but what do you do, you know? Well, I was going to say, I, I first discovered Eric online because I stumbled across that song on YouTube. Yeah. And I loved it. Oh, thanks. I was like, this is the greatest song ever. And oh. I just, I was actually sitting back there listening to it. Oh. Fifteen words in the entire song and not a single one out of place and doesn't need a sixteenth. Thanks. It's just... I love this guy. Ah, it's just. I can definitely be wordy. I like talking. I love hearing my voice. I have a great voice. I'm, I'm very humble. Yeah. My license plate says humble. It's great. Writing a book about it. Yeah. It's amazing. You guys having a good time? I'm having a good time. Having a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Toll again. So um, we, we lost a Canadian icon this week, as, as a lot of you know. Um, so I, I messaged Eric yesterday, yeah. yesterday and yesterday. said, hey, we should do a song. <laughs> um, so we haven't really rehearsed this one. Um, yeah, like me and Miles. Yeah. <laughs> we can do it. We're going to do it. Yeah. Any of my words? Okay. And I have to tell, um, I'm of course talking about Mr. Gordon Lightfoot, and uh, he actually does hold a special place in my heart, um, not just because of all the great songs and all the great words and poetry, and although that's a big part of it, but um, I grew up in a decidedly non-artistic household. I don't know how this happened. I have no idea. It's just kind of an anomaly. I'm in the anomaly in the family. So what that means is that my parents haven't quite figured out what it is that I do. and <laughs> just don't get it at all. So my mother, bless her heart, I would constantly get envelopes sent to me in the mail with little cutouts of want ads from the newspapers <laughs> of jobs that she thought I would enjoy. Um, <laughs> this went on for years, and uh, I was always saying, Mom, I have a job. I'm a musician. This is what I do. And she's like, no, 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 seriously, seriously. Did you, you <laughs> Thrifties is hiring. <laughs> um, and then one day, I had the glorious opportunity. I was invited to go see Mr. Gordon Lightfoot perform, and I was invited backstage to go meet him, which was awesome. And uh, I got my picture taken with him. And I sent that picture to my mother. And at that point, she went, is that you with Gordon Lightfoot? I went, yeah. Mm, pretty cool, huh? And she went, well, maybe there is something to this music thing after all. And ever since then, she stopped sending me want ads. <laughs> so I have to Mr. Gordon Lightfoot to thank for turning my parents' minds around about this whole music thing that I do. Because the ending's 
just too hard to take Thank you guys so much. Merci. That's such a great song. That is a great song. It's a great song. I mean, it's very sad and all about you know yeah. relationships ending and stuff like that, but it's yeah. still such a great song. I was practicing and my wife came in the studio and she's like, "You know that song?" And I thought, "Don't we all?" That's a great legacy well, right there. Yeah, it is. Speaking of legacies. Yeah. So you want to talk, talk a little bit about this? Well, it's it's a very important day. It's a very it's a, it's, it's a, a holiday. It's I wouldn't call it a holiday. I'd call it a holy day. A high holy day. Yes. A high holy day. A galactic holy day. It goes beyond this planet. Nay, rather beyond even perhaps this galaxy. Far, far away. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. What are you talking? About? What is this? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, may the force be with you.
Thank you so much. We're going to take a short break. You got some CDs for sale. We'll be back in just a few minutes, and we're going to play a bunch more guitar for you. Bunch more. Be right back.
Can we start with fire and rain? Hmm? You want to start with fire and rain and then message? Sure. Okay. Are you singing that one? Or is, is fire and rain? Are you singing that one? Okay, good. As long as you're cool with that. All right. Absolutely. Probably cool with it. I should probably plug in. Welcome back. You guys having a good time so far? I know, I know, it's the fourth time I've asked, but I'm gonna keep asking. It's the low self-esteem thing. It's great, it's great. It's really awesome. I gotta say, we have a, I'm just looking at the list here, we, get, we have a lot of really good songwriters on the list. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Yourself included. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> you gotta record that song. So we're gonna do some uh, James Taylor right now. is um it's probably one of the saddest songs that's uh, ever been so i decided to take it and make it all bouncy and happy sounding because why not
yesterday morning they let me know you were gone Suzanne the plans they made put an end to you I walked out this morning and I wrote down this song I just don't remember who to send it to Cause I've seen fire and I've seen rain in sunny days I thought would never end I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend And I always thought that I'd see you
there is just a castaway on an island lost at sea. Oh, another lonely day with no one here but me. Oh, <laughs> more loneliness than any man could bear. Rescue me before I fall into despair. Oh. Away, an island lost at sea. Oh, another lonely day with no one here but me. Oh, more loneliness than any man could bear. Rescue me before I fall into despair. Oh, I'll send them SOS to the world. I'll send them SOS to the world. I hope someone gets mine I hope that someone gets mine I hope that someone gets my message in my bottle message in my bottle I wrote my note I should have known this right from the start Only hope can keep me together Love can mend your life But love can break your heart I'll send an SOS to the world I'll send an SOS to the world I hope that someone gets my that someone gets my, I hope that someone gets my message in my bottle. Message in my bottle. Doug Toll. I saw a hundred billion bottles washed up on the shore. Seems I'm not alone at being alone. Hundred billion castaways looking for a home. I'll send an SOS to the world. I'll send an SOS to the world. I hope that someone gets my.
Sending out an SOS. 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 by a band called The Cops. Jeepers, it's the fun. The Interpol. Some sort of security operation. The fuzz. <laughs> oh my goodness, lordness. Just shoot. Just shooting us, all sort of stuff. So let's see, what are we gonna do here? So I was two months away from being exotic. <laughs> but I was instead born a redneck. So you see, um, mom and dad were living in Argentina when she was pregnant with me. Sounds really exotic, right? But she was having complications with the pregnancy and she called up her daddy who was the local medic in Louisville, Arkansas. <laughs> Population 1,000. And she told him her symptoms, and he said, you better get back to the States or that baby ain't going to be born. And sure enough, they rushed back to the States, and he delivered me via emergency cesarean. Yep, I was choking on my umbilical cord. Explains a lot. <laughs> but, you know, life is funny that way because it, it, it is kind of like a box of chocolates, so... I, I was certainly born in Louisville, and then we moved to Texas, and I stayed there until I was about seven or eight years old. And then we moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico, where they were like, Ese, why you talking so funny? I was like, shoot, you're talking funny. <laughs> you know, and you, you adapt, and you, you kind of move on with your life. And I was 15 years old, and my accent started to change to this. And I had long hair all the way down my back. This is God's sick joke. <laughs> <laughs> and I dressed all in black, and I loved heavy metal. I loved it. I loved Metallica, Mozart. Mozart. OK, I liked Mozart. Freudian slip. I'm foreshadowing what's coming. So mom sits me down. I'm a 15-year-old kid. She sits me down. She says, honey, how'd you like to move to Portugal? Like any rational teenager, I said no. <laughs> and two months later, we were eastbound for Portugal. So you can imagine my surprise, because I was one of those really well-educated American kids who knew that Portugal was located in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they spoke Spanish. <laughs> so I said, so mom, how do you say uh, hello in, in Portuguese, you know? And she said, you know, well, hola. So, so yeah, that's right, so it's Spanish, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> so when I got there, I was um, really surprised they didn't speak Spanish at all. <laughs> and they weren't in Mexico. Uh, and the food wasn't anything like Mexican food. And uh, so she sat me down to sort of ease my pain. And she said, well, you got two choices. Do you want to go to a normal school or do you want to go to music school? And you know, being a heavy metal teenager with long hair all the way down to my butt, the music school sounded nice. Now, in my head, I'm thinking, fame, I want to live forever. And that's what I thought I was getting myself into. So she signs me up to this new music school. So I'm like, great, man. Music school, rock and roll. 
So uh, I started talking to my new classmates, which was easy because the, the Portuguese, they grew up speaking like five languages, so English was just one of the five. So I said, you guys, uh, you guys like uh, any Iron Maiden? And they were like, who? I was like, oh, it's kind of weird. Music school, I haven't heard of Iron Maiden. So I said, how about you guys like Megadeth? They're like, uh, I don't know, are they any good? I'm starting to think it's a little strange, like what kind of music school is this? So I gave him the greatest metal band of all time. So I said, obviously you guys have heard of Metallica, right? Thank you, where were you in my music school? <laughs> to which they said, no, uh, are they any good? And I said, well, what the heck, man? What kind of music school is this? And they said, it's a classical music school. <laughs> Mom had duped me. <laughs> See, my mother's a concert pianist. <laughs> she knew what she was doing. Well, but fast forward, so I was there for five years, so I, I, I picked up Portuguese. Anybody here speak Portuguese? It's a very useful language in Victoria, isn't it? <laughs> I speak mostly to my son. He responds in English. But I thought I'd perform a little something-something for you in Portuguese. What do you think? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Então, eu vou tocar esta canção que é muito fixe. Vocês vão gostar, é fantástica. Vão adorar. É uma coisa tão linda, tão doce, que realmente não tenho palavras para descrever, mas. Ai, ai, ai. You know? Tá bom. Obrigado. 
So the translation is just a simple healing prayer. It's very sweet. It's, Thy name is my healing, O oh my God, and remembrance of thee is my remedy. Nearness to thee is my hope, and love for thee is my companion. It's very poetic. And when it's done in Portuguese, it's just the sweetness that I love about it. Hmm. All right, enough talking. This song is basically about when you're going through something tough, you're going through that winter moment in your life, and you can start to see the first petals of spring. You're still a little bit in the winter, but you can start seeing the hope, the light at the end of the tunnel. This is called Across the Sky. <laughs> springtime sigh I heard it say it's a brand new day and the winter's thaw like the Roman fall all melts away it's a time for change so I close my eyes and I hold my head up to the sky feel the sun the sky, running faster than cars run by, running so hard I know I will not hurt anymore, and I'm leaving it all behind, just a memory of years gone by, nothing you say will never hurt like that anymore, I catch the eye of an old friend say it's time to move on then the songbirds sing on the twigs of the tree of eternity I can hear it calling me so I close my eyes and I hold my head up to the sky feel the sun and praise for the off from my sunken face and I hold my head up higher than the hills held high and I know I'm free I'm running across the sky running faster than cars run by running so hard I know I will not hurt anymore and I'm leaving it all behind just a memory of years gone by nothing you say will never hurt like that so hard I feel the sweat drip down to the floor and I'm running to live my life not so many of years gone by nothing will ever hold me back like that anymore nothing will ever hold me back like that anymore
Please welcome back to the stage, Doug Toll. Nervous, man. Talk amongst yourselves a little bit. So, um, my story is nowhere near as exotic as Eric's. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I grew up in the suburbs of Vancouver, <laughs> North Delta. Woo oh, so somebody's hands just went down real fast at that. What are you from, Ladner? <laughs> <laughs> Shush you. Quiet you. But however, similar stories in the fact of like, you know, I grew up learning to play guitar by listening to Iron Maiden records. Dave Murray still rules. Um, and then went to classical school. And had my classical guitar instructor tell me how wrong and stupid I was for listening to that crap. But where is he now? So this... Um, He's not here tonight, so screw him. So this next tune kind of combines all of those worlds a little bit.
Thank you so much. Come on back up, Eric. <laughs> Get out of here. He's on a really important level. Okay, um, well. So this song is uh, from an, a little unknown band from uh, Liverpool back in the 60s. Eric Harper, welcome back. Had a good night so far? 
We'll have to do this again sometime. <laughs> this is fun. Maybe next time we'll rehearse. Shh. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> We're professionals. <laughs> we need not rehearse. Give me your A. Knock it out of tune every time. I could, you know, there's a lot of lights up here that are <laughs> warming things up. Thank God summer's here, though. Yay. Took a while. Sort of. Getting there. Yeah. How do we start this?
Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. We've Thank had a blast. You. We hope to see you again real soon. Mr. Eric Harper. Mr. Doug Toll. Thank you guys so very much. It's been an awesome audience. Thanks for coming out on a Thursday night. Sorry, was that French? Come on. Qu'est-ce que tu dis? Okay, so what? Um, what the heck? Let's do this. Oh. So, uh, w one of the things, obviously, that uh, me and Eric like to do is just improvise stuff. So, we're gonna we're gonna try a little something here, a little something something, and we're gonna pretend like we're at like an improv comedy show. Then we're gonna take some suggestions from the audience, and we're gonna write a song. Right now. Yeah. So. What he said. Somebody, give me a letter between A and G. F. Got F first. I don't know F. You don't know F? <laughs> Any other letter besides F? Anybody? F. Okay, F. What else? Okay, F. we need more. Okay, well, we need, well, hang on. Oh. Uh -huh. We don't need more. We don't need more. Less we need, is more. We, need, we need a number between one and six. Four. four. I heard four, okay. Give me another number between one and six. One. Two. One more. There we go. What was it again? I, I failed math. Four, four, two, three. Four, two, three. But what about... Oh. That's pretty. Somebody gave me a choice between one, three, and five. Five, okay. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I never would have thought like this. There we have a song.
Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. So one more time, we do have CDs over here for sale. Both Doug and I have our own CDs. They're $20 each. I have an email sign-up list, so if you want to stay in contact, and I can let you know when shows are coming up. Uh, what else are we forgetting? We accept all forms of cash and card. Yes. We're that corporate. Yes. Yes, very corporate indeed. And um, thank you so much, you guys. This is wonderful. It was a real treat. Thank you. Thank you.